This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So Steve will do it from Nelk. Okay. He's the one who met up with, you know, fake little Dirk first. And um, he claims that he disclosed everything. And actually he did in a the video. There's so, why is there so much footage on this get together with fake little Dirk and Takashi? I mean, it's almost like it was set up to push things more viral but anyways so fake little dirk and you know steve will do it meet up and they talk about takashi i guess he meets takashi they put the the king bond thing on him it gets a little disrespectful steve will do it said i had nothing to do with that disrespectful stuff but you know we everything i said i didn't put you in that in you know any kind of harm's way or anything or or, or try to do anything everything i said was straight up Fake little Dirk, I don't know. It's like, and then the way he was being coached in the video was weird. I gotta say, Kodak Black professes love her young Miami. She, someone said she she might need a restraining order at this point. He said her too. I love this woman. Uh, this is my baby right here. Don't let that dumb stuff fool y'all. She been down with Kodak since throwback. This was my go-to picture when I was in jail. I'll cut my pinky off for her. He says, whoa. But that black is passionate. Uh, Corey Gamble testifies that he saw <laughs> he saw um, Black China whip whip uh, uh, and hit Rob Kardashian. So she was abusive to her. I could see that man because like even in the special, she was barking on him crazy. That season one thing, she was barking on him crazy. Um, he said said i asked her what was going on she yelled she hated him she didn't like him uh why would i like this fat guy uh if he wasn't part of the family so she was just it was a come up for for black china obviously um black china thought this would go some other way but now she's saying you know in the beginning of this she said i'm so thankful jerry will finally hear what really happened behind closed doors i don't think they want to hear this it's pretty much a it's bad for her um the baby's lawyer issues a statement about that video that got released the walmart video that rolling stone got a hold of and released of the baby taking a man's life in walmart for you know his uh personal protection you know he said, he said it was self-defense so witnesses were interviewed and corroborated Mr. Kirk's statement. Um, the entirety of the surveillance video was viewed because, like, like, look, we only saw one angle, and the angle that they got makes it look like he's the aggressor. But you know, there's obviously more stuff that happened that led up to that. Um, and uh, the rapper was like, "Damn, bruh, they took thirty million from me." lie on me once a week want my fine baby moms to hate me want me to lose fights i don't start what more do you want from me the baby gets it's, it's just so much stuff man so much stuff surrounding this guy it's crazy mgk is making his return to the rap game he says all right well Bro, you're in a good space over there where you're at. I, I don't, you know, let's let's just say, you know, we know that he can rap. We know that uh, MGK can rap. But it's just not his thing, man. You know, he said, if I keep doing things to prove things to people, I'm going to drive myself crazy. Yeah, exactly. But you still, you still want to come back to rap. I mean, we know you can rap. But here's the thing. Just... It's not his. It's not his forte over here. You know, people don't like it. Say, so I learned from him. Anyways, he's gonna try to come back to rap. That's basically it. Eminem kind of pushed him to rock, and it actually worked for him. Like he's making more money than he ever has over at the rock field. You know, it works for him. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace.